The original Xbox mascot, the Master Chief, made the jump from the iconic video games to TV in the Paramount Plus Halo series, which debuted back in March 2022. With the second season just around the corner, here's a comprehensive recap of the Chief's exploits to get you up to speed and prepare you for the great journey ahead. The year is 2552. A coalition of hostile alien forces known as the Covenant attack an insurrectionist base on the planet Madrigal. In response, the United Nations Space Command, or UNSC, dispatches the Silver Team, an elite Spartan squad led by the Master Chief, also known as John 117. They arrive on the scene wiping out the Covenant forces, but not before almost all civilians on the ground are massacred. Only one survivor remained, a young girl named Quan Ha. Before withdrawing, Chief discovers an alien artifact, which we later learn is a Forerunner Keystone. Upon touching it, his mind is consumed by vivid hallucinations of mysterious symbols and long-forgotten childhood memories. Chief takes Quan Ha back to the UNSC base on the planet Reach. Refusing to cooperate, the UNSC orders the Chief to execute her. Instead, he breaks protocol and defies his orders. He touches the keystone again, and this time it emits an electromagnetic pulse, briefly disabling power in the base and allowing them to escape. In the process, John unlocks another memory, one where he recalls sketching the keystone as a child. Chief takes Quan to the rubble, an insurrectionist base situated deep in a cluster of fractured asteroids. It's there that Chief reunites with Soren, an old friend and former Spartan, who is now an insurrectionist leader. Soren persuades Chief to show him the keystone, which then prompts Soren to take the artifact to Reth, a self-proclaimed Covenant expert. He baits Chief into activating the Keystone yet again, this time revealing the existence of an alien superweapon capable of devastating power. Convinced that the UNSC must be briefed on this revelation, Chief leaves Quan with Soren and surrenders to the rest of Silver Team, who were instructed by Captain Jacob Keyes to apprehend him. Meanwhile, on High Charity, a planet-sized space station and the Covenant's holy city, an elite that survived the battle on Madrigal reveals to the Prophets, Truth, Mercy and Regret, that they witnessed the Master Chief activate the Forerunner Relic. The Prophet's own Reclaimer, a human and former prisoner of war named Marquis, volunteers to go and retrieve the Keystone herself. In her pursuit of knowledge on the whereabouts of the Keystone, she boards a UNSC ship and slaughters everyone on board. <laughs> Meanwhile, leading UNSC scientist, Dr. Catherine Halsey, creates an AI construct in her own image, which she names Cortana. She transfers Cortana to a neural chip, which she then implants in the Master Chief. Following this, Chief, with the assistance of Cortana, decides to remove his emotional regulator. As if feeling truly alive for the first time, Chief is motivated to interact with the Keystone again, this time unlocking memories of his parents and his home on the human colonized planet Eridanus II. Convinced a second Keystone is located there, Chief and Halsey head to the planet to investigate. On Eridanus II, they explore Chief's childhood home and unearth sketches he drew as a child, all of which depict the Forerunner relics. Chief then recalls a nearby cave he used to explore when he was younger, and it's there he discovers the second Keystone. The UNSC arrives with the intention to extract the artifact and take it back to Reach for further testing. Chief, who just can't seem to keep his hands to himself, touches it, unlocking more new memories. This time he recalls Halsey kidnapping him as a child and replacing him with a clone, all unbeknownst to his parents. Enraged, he attempts to kill Halsey, but not before Cortana seemingly shuts him down through their mental connection. Chief's interaction with the Keystone emits an energy signal, which is picked up by Marquis, leading to a surprise Covenant attack on the UNSC. Chief reawakens and leaps into action, joining the rest of Silver Team as they hold their own against the Covenant forces. In the heat of the battle, Chief is forced to choose between saving one of his squad mates, Kai, or pursuing the Keystone. His decision allows the Covenant to escape with the Relic. However, the UNSC doesn't leave empty-handed. Just as they're leaving, the Covenant ship jettisons a drop pod containing Marquis, seemingly betraying her and leaving her to become a prisoner of the UNSC. Back on Reach, Chief interrogates Marquis, where she explains that they are both blessed with the gift to activate Forerunner technology. In an effort to earn Chief's trust, Marquis tells him she believes the Covenant likely took the Keystone to their holy planet in the Aspero star system. Seeking answers about his traumatic childhood, Chief confronts Halsey, who lays bare the terrible truth of the Spartan program. 
Despite the numerous interactions with the Keystones clearly taking a toll on him, Chief activates the one on Madrigal once more. This time, he and Marky share a simultaneous vision of a ring-shaped world, which we interpret to be the alien superweapon Chief saw in one of his previous visions, the Halo. Following this, John seriously contemplates whether Marquis could become a potential ally, especially after she tells him the Covenant seeks the Halo Rings to begin their transcendent great journey. There's a prophecy. Where the stars sparkle like glass, a divine wind will rush through, propelling all those who are worthy on a great journey to the sacred ring, where we will become like gods. Armed with this new knowledge, Chief convinces UNSC leadership to let Marky interact with the Keystone so they can find out where the Covenant took the other relic. Having grown closer to each other in this time, Chief seems to lower his guard around Marky. But this is the Master Chief, the infallible super soldier we all know and love. Surely he wouldn't fall prey to the seduction tactics of a supposed Covenant spy, would he? Were it so easy. To the Chief's credit, Marky begins to question her loyalty to the Covenant. Meanwhile, Halsey, who has her own agenda, accesses Spartan protocols through backdoor channels and places Spartans Riz and Vanek under her direct control, ordering them to apprehend the Master Chief and Maki and secure the Keystone. Cortana, defying her creator, chooses to warn Chief, who is forced to take on his two squad mates. Dr. Miranda Keys uncovers transmissions from the UNSC ship Marky boarded in her initial search for the Keystone. They reveal that Marky was behind the attack that left everyone dead. She is taken into custody and brutally tased by UNSC soldiers, but manages to free herself and activate the Keystone, triggering a huge energy blast that impacts the entire base. She and Chief share another vision where she says goodbye. When Chief comes to, he discovers Marquis has escaped reach with the Forerunner Relic. He returns to his squad where he and the rest of Silver Team reach an impasse. Chief, in an attempt to defuse the situation, explains Halsey's deception and the origin of the Spartan program. The truth is met with skepticism until Captain Keys arrives and confirms not only everything Chief said, but also his own involvement with the program. The UNSC manages to capture Halsey and take her back to their base, where she suddenly dies. Miranda would later learn that the Dr. Halsey she saw die was a Flash clone, not unlike the ones that replaced the abducted children who were chosen to become Spartan candidates. Using this diversion, Halsey secretly leaves the planet. With Cortana's help, Chief finds the location of the Secret Covenant planet and leads Silver Team on a mission to recover the Keystones. They face overwhelming Covenant resistance, with the Chief even struggling to hold his own. Marquis, seeing this, activates the two Keystones, emitting an energy blast and saving the Chief. This also manifests an enormous holographic star map, which begins to reveal the location of a halo. Marquis and Chief share another vision, but he is unable to convince her to become an ally and remains trapped in the hallucination. Kai, seeing the chief rendered immobile, decides to shoot Marky and thus freeing him. The battle continues and after chief takes what looks to be a fatal hit, Cortana assumes full control of him and along with a wounded silver team secures both keystones and escapes the planet. On the ship, a concerned Kai questions if the chief is still there. Now, you're probably left wondering, what's the deal with the portal Quan Ha discovered on Madrigal? What's that nefarious Dr. Halsey up to? And the man behind the helmet, the Master Chief? He'll surely be back, right? With the trailers for Season 2 teasing the fall of Reach and so much more, here's hoping all of our questions are answered. We've done our best to get you up to speed for Halo Season 2, but if you still aren't satisfied, there's still time to go binge the first season, as the Master Chief makes his return on Paramount Plus on February 8th. For all things Halo, keep it locked to IGN. Find the Halo, win the war.